What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Rumble World. In the last episode, we took down the first boss of this game, the Magician, after- Oh, my character just fell there. That's uh, unfortunate. I didn't know we were back in Smash Bros. Brawl, man. That tripping. Uh... Yeah, why'd you interrupt my intro, bro? Anyway, in today's episode, we're gonna be continuing on to some new areas, hopefully, but I went ahead, or I was going to go to a new area just now, and it says we have too many Pokemon. You gotta tap the Pokemon menu and say goodbye to some of them, so I guess, unfortunately, we're gonna have to say goodbye to some of our Pokemon pals, but we're gonna make tons of new ones, so if you guys are excited for this episode, as always, please be sure to leave a like. That would be awesome. Let's say goodbye to some Pokemon now. It's pretty sad stuff, man. Pretty sad. I guess I'll just get rid of the weak ones, especially repeats. So let's see, we can, oh, whoops. We only have to say goodbye to five of them, it looks like, because we have 35 out of 30 in the bottom screen there. Uh, so there we go, we just kind of mark them off and get rid of them that way. So I guess I'll just get rid of repeats, and we should probably leave the top one, yeah. Because the top one is most likely the strongest one. Honestly, it doesn't even matter, because we're going to get way more Pokemon, and I'm assuming we're going to run out of the space eventually anyway, but might as well get rid of as many as we can right now. I'll probably be doing this off screen from now on though, just because it's a tad bit annoying having to go through and getting rid of Pokemon like this. Uh, but I don't know, honestly that should already be good enough for getting rid of stuff, so let's uh, confirm that. And yeah, say goodbye to 20 whole Pokemon. Now we only have 15 left. Whoa, we get money! Ah, jump for joy, that's right. We got the moolah, baby, the young moolah. Um, but let's go to the shop and see what kind of new stuff we can buy. We got something in the extras. Pokemon House. This increases the limit on the Pokemon you can keep by 30. Wow. So we could have just bought that instead of getting rid of stuff. I am pretty dumb. Let's do it. We have way more than enough Poke Diamonds. And by the way, uh, well, I guess I'll go into this in a little bit. But yeah, we can buy more than one of these even. Pokemon House 2. It's still just two diamonds, so yeah, that's pretty good. I want to buy some new clothes, though. My character needs some nice new stuff. We have 600, so we can go for the hoodie, but you know what? Whatever, man. Let's go for it. We're a high roller right now. I probably just wasted all my money. That's probably not a good idea, but you know what? We look stylish, and that's all that matters. Look at that. We got a hoodie, and it's orange, and I like it, and uh, if you disagree, then whatever, okay? But right now we could buy the Leafy Balloon, the Dew Balloon, or the Ruby or Sapphire Balloons, which are 20 Poke Gems. I think uh, I'm going to go for these first, but we're not even done with the fire area yet. And I'm not sure if, whoa, hey, our character wants to say something. The king gave you 100p as a reward for changing your me settings. Nice, we just got 100p back from just buying that hoodie. Awesome, wait. Looks like the king actually wants something, if you see there's an exclamation mark here. Oh, Orange, I have a favor to ask you. Let's listen to the king once again. Looks like we have completed the Magician's Challenge. Now we have our first errand. We gotta defeat the boss, use both A and B moves, destroy 45 or more objects, and clear the battle without getting trapped. And all of these little missions you can redo, it looks like. Um, I don't really... Oh, we can clear it in hard mode too, and yeah, that's another way to get Poke Diamonds. That is what I was going to go into, is the fact that you can get Poke Diamonds through the game, so... Basically, this game, while it is free to play, and a lot of people say, Oh, well, it's not really free because you have to buy Poke Diamonds. You can beat the whole game without ever having to buy Poke Diamonds. You just need a little bit of patience and, you know, do some of the challenges and stuff. Um, patience because sometimes to do missions, you have to wait like we saw yesterday, or in the previous episode, rather. Uh, sometimes that wait time will be a whole lot longer, though, so... I don't know, as long as you're not constantly playing the game and you actually take breaks and stuff, you should be fine to beat the game without ever having to even buy Poke Diamonds. Though, maybe at some point I'll buy some. I don't know. I want you to retrieve products for the shop from our neighboring county. Country, not county. Alright, let's do it. The target power of this battle is 200 or higher. Do you really want to try it? Let's do it, man. I have no fear. No fear at all. Welcome, Adventurer Orange. I have a favor to ask. I want you to stock up the shop with products from a neighboring country. Those are some basic bandits in the wood on the way, but I'm sure you can do it. I'm sure we can do it too. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We might have wanted to go do some regular levels before taking on this next challenge. Oh god, it's a bandit. Afraid we can't let you through. We're a hungry bunch, so just leave everything with us. Or we can battle. Give us your luggage or fight. Let's fight to the death. Let's go. We got our first errand. Defeat the boss. And we can see our challenges down at the bottom screen. Uh, I don't think we even have any Pokemon with both A and B moves, so... We can't even complete the first challenge. I am dumb, okay? I'm pretty dumb. Also, our power is only 96, so I might 
just return to the castle. Yeah, I don't think we can do this level yet. So instead, let's head back and go to the fiery mountain. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I kind of feel like I'm being a scaredy cat right now, but we're almost uh, double. I mean, we're half power of what the recommended is. So let's see if we can finally get this Charizard going. Oh my gosh, please. Yes, we actually got it. Furnace Mountain back. All right, awesome. So that's why there are multiple faces to each area. So yeah, that's why before we had the first Furnace Mountain entrance, now we're in the back. Awesome, man. Maybe we can get some good new Pokemon in here. Maybe even some ones with double attacks. And by that, I mean both A and B. So if you guys didn't know or haven't gotten the game yourselves or gotten to play it or any of the Rumble games in the past, um, A is your basic attack. So for us, it's Fury Attack. And then B can also be an attack, but still we haven't, or at least in this game so far, we haven't gotten any Pokemon with multiple attacks, so yeah. The bosses have definitely had multiple attacks though, but we ourselves have not gotten any yet. Um, so we got some new Pokemon discovered, we got Pyroars, we're not getting them unfortunately. I don't really know if there's any way to make it easier to befriend Pokemon. From what I read in the comments of you guys letting me know, apparently if the boss is ever glowing, it means that we have almost, or like, 100% chance of getting it, but, I don't know. Aside from that, I really don't know if there's anything we can do to, like, befriend Pokemon or anything like that. I just realized, this friend, Fury Attack, someone told me something about the controls as well. Let me check that, because apparently, yeah, there's, a, there's apparently an automatic control. There we go. Let's switch that right off. So now, uh, our Pokemon won't automatically attack stuff near him, so you won't see him, like, double attacking sometimes, when I don't mean him to double attack. And again, that's just me spamming the attack button. I don't know. It's kind of half and half, really. Oh no, get the coin! Yeah! Nice. Goodbye, little rapid ashes. Oh my god, 11 combo, dude. We are just tearing through this place with our little Doduo pal. Honestly, Doduo is not the best, but he's been tearing through these areas, and we still haven't gotten a Pokemon stronger than him, honestly. Like, just having a normal type Pokemon is pretty good because nothing's aside from fighting is really going to be super effective on you. And you're pretty much going to be neutral against everything but a couple of types, which we haven't run into yet. We're fighting mostly water, grass, and fire so far, so normal types are pretty good. A-OK -okay if you ask me. Bada boom, we got Charizard coming up as the next boss battle. Hopefully we can get some Charmeleon going. I know we've already gotten a Charmeleon before, but, you know, maybe we can get an even stronger one. Uh, we actually got a boss Charmeleon, if I remember correctly, so, oh, there we go. We got a regular one now. And maybe we can get a Charizard even. I don't know. Apparently he has to glow for us to be able to get him. I don't really know. Sometimes he's kind of glowing. Oh god, that did a lot of damage, but we already killed it. So, okay. Well, he was doing a lot of damage. I guess I'll reiterate that. But then he just kind of died. So, cool. Do we have anything stronger yet? Nope. All of these are weaker than our Doduo. Oh no, no they're not. What the heck? These are over 100. Man, let's go. No one with double attacks yet, though. Let's go for Ponytail. Why the heck not, man? Maybe we can actually buy a new hot air balloon. The thing I'm scared of is that buying a new hot air balloon will mess up our current one. Like, we'll lose out on this fire one. Pretty scared about that. Oh, that's the first time I actually skipped a little hot air balloon. Aw. Man, I don't want to do that. I want to watch the hot air balloon every time. All right, so we got 12 species of Pokemon. The only new thing we got, I think, is this. Check visitors. Okay. Let's check visitors. We haven't done that yet. <gasps> oh, we got something from Spot Pass. Meet characters who've come to town may give you Poke Diamonds. See, there's just so many ways to get Poke Diamonds that I don't know. Whoa, what? We got five people in here from Street Pass or Spot Pass or whatever. It's Red. It's Pete. It's Jen. It's Brian. It's Matthew. I'm pretty sure these are people from my stream, but you know what? That's awesome. We only got one Poke Diamond out of it, but you know what? Some of you guys that have been in my streams. Uh, appear, appeared in my world, I guess. So yeah, play this game and come to my streams if you do, so that I can spot pass with you. That would be awesome. Then I can get some more stuff. Apparently there's still more to do on visitors, so let's call someone online and see what that does. Invite someone for free once a day. Oh, man, I keep messing this up. No, that's the wrong thing. You know what? I keep messing this up, and I honestly, I don't even care. Okay, give me something. Give me something good, trainer. Oh, look at that. He's like rubbing our little Pokemon toy. I really like the look of this game, though. I don't know. Some of the Pokemon toys don't... Like, they look a lot better than they did in, in Pokemon Rumble U and stuff like that. And Rumble Blast. I think the toys definitely look a little bit better sometimes. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get ourselves a new balloon. Yeah! 
we're gonna go for the leaf one considering we just got a bunch of fire types seems appropriate that we get the leafy balloon here and that will take you to places where a lot of grass pokemon appear um so if we have two more pokey diamonds which we can get easily from the the king or whatever Oh, okay, no, it stays there. Okay, cool. So we just add more levels on. I don't know why I thought maybe the Ember Balloon might disappear if we add in the Leafy one. So let's go try out the Leafy stage. Um, unfortunately, these are like pretty early stages, so I'm assuming... Oh, come on, man. You can't get me Sceptile right off the bat. I would love me... Oh, Grovile, actually, not Sceptile. I would love me some Grovile right off the bat. That would be awesome, but nope, we can never get it. Instead, we're going to get Flabebes and uh, whatever this thing is called. I forgot the name. Hey, there it is. What is this thing called? Petalil. I remember Lilligant, but never Petalil for some reason. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, if we get two more Poke Diamonds, we can actually purchase the Dew Pack, which is the... Oh, what? Some of the people that uh, we Street Pass are actually appearing in my world now. That's awesome. What the heck? Dude, that is so cool. Let's not let him die, though. Red, I will save you, pal. Ah, there we go. We saved him. I'll support you with my X speeds. Let's move forward together. What? This is awesome. So we can get, like, other trainers in on here. That is so cool. I think um, these people I actually added on my 3DS, though. Unless it's, like, just, like, I don't know how it works, honestly. I do remember some of them are from my stream, though. I don't know about Red here. But if you do have to add people on 3DS to have them appear in your world, that seems pretty lame to me because, I don't know, adding people on 3DS, as you may or may not know, is pretty dang annoying considering they haven't uh, made it so that on 3DS you can use your Nintendo ID. You actually still have to use friend codes. And everybody knows friend codes are just terrible. They suck and they smell. And hey, X speed. Nice. Our speed is going up, baby. Coming up. Coming down, I'm gonna tear these oddishes around, or apart, but around rhyme more, so, I don't know. It's nice that this guy is giving us some speed ups, though, I like that. So it looks like so far we already caught three of the Pokemon found here, and we're already up at the boss, so let's take that X speed and ram right into this bad boy. It's Floet! Nice! I don't like Floet, but I guess, you know, that's what we're battling. I thought this was just Flabebe, but I guess it's Floet, man. They look really similar. Honestly, like, what's the big difference between Flabebe and Floet? What? You hold your flower above your head now? You're too cool to have it below you, you know? What's up with that, Floet? You think you're above the flowers? No. You're equal to them, okay? The flowers and I are one. Oh god, I really hope that Big P doesn't disappear. Yeah, we're good. Hey, our little guy also dropped one. Nice. Thank you so much, Red. I really appreciated the help in this one, man. Kind of curious to where my trainer went, though. Just saying. I don't know, man. My Pokemon is riding solo now, and I'm not a big fan of that. But we did get a ton of new Pokemon, and we're going to rank up off of that. Nice, nice, nice. Rank 5 already. I don't know what rank exactly we should be uh, to take on the next challenge, but the, the king did say we should have at least a Pokemon of power 200. And so far, our highest is... Oh, whoops, I did the wrong thing. I was supposed to press X. Hey, we're so happy. 121. Oh, so I guess the levels scale up a little bit, depending on what you're doing. Still no Pokemon. Oh, there we go. We got one with two attacks. Mega Drain and Sleep Powder. Yo, let's use this Oddish. Yeah. Uh, his attacks are not really the best, though, now that I think about it. Plus, having a fire type in a grassy area is probably better anyway. So let's go ahead and take on one more level in this episode, and then we'll move on somewhere else. But yeah, look at that. We have to wait 11 whole seconds. To be able to play again like oh my gosh guys i do not have those 11 seconds you don't understand i need to take on the next level right at this very instance and boom so yeah basically as long as you have your patience you'll be a-okay without having to buy pokey diamonds and stuff like that uh come on man uh, i guess i guess uh what is this thing even called Man, I suck at remembering the Kalos Pokemon starters evolutions. I know, I know Froakie, Fennekin, no, Froakie, Frogadier, Greninja, and then Chespin. What is the second evolution called? I know Chespin and Chestnut, but, oh, Quilladin, Quilladin. There we go, that's what it's called. I remembered, and I couldn't remember in the last episode, Delphox. But yeah, Fennekin, Brixian, Delphox, Froakie, Frogadier, Greninja, and Chespin, uh, Quilladin. And chestnut. There we go. I got this. I got this, guys. I have my knowledge of a game that came out like not even that long ago. Oh my god, is that a chest spin? <gasps> Whoa, can we get a chest spin? Oh my gosh, I want a chest spin. 
Thank you! I'll support you with my X attacks! Alright, dude. Oh, we got a Poke Diamond from that too. Nice! Now we're only one Poke Diamond away from being able to buy both the Dew Pack and uh, one of the Ruby, either the Ruby or the Sapphire Pack, one of the two. Not, not really both though, because we're going to need an extra 20 diamonds for that one. But I'm sure we can get it once we get over to the, to the King's Next Challenges and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, got this nice level. I really want to get a Chespin though. I know Chespin's in this level, but all we're getting are stupid scatter bugs. Kind of want this guy to die. That's really mean, but I don't know. Where's my trainer? That's what I'm saying. We bought a new hoodie and we don't even get to use it. Like, what's up with that, man? Give me a Chespin, please. We just fought like five of them and we didn't even get one. Come on, where are the chest pins at? I don't want scatter bugs and pan seers. I don't like them. I want, I want, can I stick around here for a little bit and maybe hope that chest pin pops up? Come on, chest pins, come up. No, I gotta do it, okay. Whatever, whatever. We're already at the boss though and it looks like it's gonna be Spupa by the looks of it. Oh, never mind, it's Quilladin. What am I thinking? Apparently there is a Spupa as a boss though in this level because I see it at the bottom screen. Oh, there we go. Here's a bunch of chest pins. I'm not going to stop fighting them till I get one. So boss, I'm going to have to ignore you for a little bit, buddy. I know it's kind of mean, but there we go. We got it. Nice. We got chest pin. All right. Now we can tear through the boss. Holy crap, dude. Our damage against that thing. That is ridiculous how much damage we just did to that Quilladin. And there we go. Whoa, we're actually going to get the doll for Quilladin too. Not the doll, the, the toy. They're not dolls, they are toys, guys. Keep that in mind, always and forever. There we go. You got anything to say, putty? 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 No? I'm gonna swap out a Quilladin real quick. I like this, I like this guy. I like Quilladin. I don't know why I was hating earlier. I like Quilladin. And that is gonna probably end off this episode. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Before we do, though, of course, we gotta check out the new Pokemon we got. Panseer, no, it's Pansage, my bad. Panseer, I guess, is the second one. Scatterbug, ton of those. Chespin, and Quilladin. And with Quilladin, we're gonna also rank up to rank six, and we're gonna get the Leafy Expanse Beginner, nice. So now we're probably gonna get some better levels here in the Leafy Expanse, it looks like, and we'll do those in the next episode. Goodbye.